Hi everyone, it's Carrie, and it's that time again for the uh, Fall Goodwill, the $5 Goodwill Challenge that's issued by Hillary of um, My So-Called Home. So I want to show you what I picked up for um, the Fall $5 Goodwill Challenge and then show you how I repurposed some of my items for the fall. Okay, so first up is this lovely cable knit sweater. When I think of fall, I think of cable knit sweaters and I, you know, absolutely uh, love cable knit sweaters. I love, you know, that just kind of totally reminds me of fall. So I picked this up, it was 25 cents. There's this uh, thrift store outlet that on Wednesdays, everything in the store is 25 cents. So I picked up this really nice cable knit sweater from the thrift store for 25 cents. Next, while I was in that same thrift store, I picked up three pairs of jeans. Each pair of jeans were 25 cents also, so it makes it 75 uh, cents for uh, some jeans. So I picked up three jeans and a sweater, and that was a dollar. Then I also found this um, really beautiful wooden leaf in uh, the Goodwill. And I found this early on, like in the summertime, and I just said, let me pick that up for the, you know, Goodwill Challenge. I never know, you know, what I'm going to end up using. So I thought this would work great. And this was $1.91. It was Blue Day, so I did get half off. So this was about a dollar, a little under a dollar. I did cheat because they had two of them. I picked up two, but I'm only going to show one, so I won't go over the $5 um, amount. But I did get both of them. Um, so these were a dollar, so we're up to two dollars now on the clothing and this wonderful leaf. Then I stopped by my favorite discount fabric store, and they were getting rid of three, four dollar any kind of tie back. So I picked up three tie backs. These are like the pom pom tie backs, and then this one I thought was gorgeous for you know the fall this was you know three four dollars these are 33 cents each look at that you know brass um detail on that now this piece here has a little bit of white the you know white part coming out of the top i think i can stuff that in and fix it and this is just a, a beautiful tie back don't know what i'm going to do with it yet but it looks wonderful for fall and the third one i don't have to show because i already repurposed it so i'll show you what i did with it but it's like this one but it's cream so that's that was a dollar, three of these four dollars. So we're up to three dollars now. A dollar for the clothes, a dollar for that, two, three. And then last thing here, fall season. Football is in full effect when uh, fall season's here. And my husband loves football. So I found this little dish and I think it would work great um, during our football season. And it was $3.93, but it was half off on Yellow Day. So this was um, right under um, $2. So for all of my items, I came in at slightly under $5. So I'm going to show you how I actually used all of them. So here's what I ended up doing. We plan on taking a fall picnic. So my husband and I are going to do a romantic fall picnic this uh, fall season. And I wanted to show you some of the things that I made. First up here, Remember the sweater that I showed you? Well, I just cut off the arm of the sweater and made a really nice wine bottle cozy. So let me see if you can see that. You just stick, cut off the arm and stick your wine bottle right in there and it looks beautiful. You just tie on a little bow and a little embellishment that I had here. And then I found this little fall acorn wine stopper uh, in Target and I just think that looks absolutely wonderful so that's what I did with uh, the sweater I just made a little wine cozy and then down here is just a leaf we're just going to use that to set our food out on um, while we're out having our picnic and we just have our little you know uh, Moscow Mule mugs and then also these little teeny fox salt and pepper shakers I think they're really cute they also came from uh, Target 
And then we just have some uh, little coasters. Uh, they came in a set of four. I got these from Marshalls. It says bottoms up, drink up. And I think the other ones over here is cheers and salute. And you absolutely need to have a nice cozy blanket when you're going on a picnic. So we have our blanket, you know, back there. And then another thing that I did with uh, those jeans, remember all of the jeans that I purchased? Well, here, uh, the jeans and those pom-pom tie backs for the um, curtains. What I ended up doing was making uh, boot stands. So yeah, so I ended up taking the jeans, I took the legs, you know, of the jeans, cut them off, stuffed them, and made some really cute um, boot stands. And I think boots, you know, when I think of fall, the first thing I think of is my tall boots. And I absolutely love these boots because they combine both of my favorite things when I'm looking for, uh, you know, a good boot. I love, you know, a great leather boot, the camel cover leather with a great stitching on it. And then look at the, you know, the... Um, cable knit sweater so it combines leather and cable knit sweater and there are the jean uh, boot stands that I made for my jean legs and um, you probably remember this if you watch my cheers and beers um, video that I did for my husband I made these custom wine tags well I had some tags left over um, so I just made some tags to just kind of stick onto my boots to just give them a little bit of more you know fanciness you know I'm very carry and then I'm just labeling the type of boot which uh, boot in uh, or boot um, stand goes into each boot because I plan on doing these for all of my boots for fall so I know that these jean ones go to my cable knit sweater boots and then that little um, tie back I just cut it in half and I stuck it on top and made a little pom-pom for my boot stand and I just love the way my little boot stands came out and then here's the other one the cable knit sweater boot and so that's what I did with those jeans. I made some fall boot stands for my, um, you know, sweater knit boots. And I'm just going to give you another last once over. So again, we made the sweater, bottle sweater cozy out of the sweater, some um, boot stands out of the jeans, and we put the pom-poms that I showed you on top of the boot stands. And I just think we're ready for a nice fall picnic. Okay, everyone here is my um, table setting for the fall I've always wanted to put together a um, a country breakfast and so here is my country breakfast fall table and I'm going to share with you how I incorporated the things I just showed you um, in my Goodwill haul so first right here remember I showed you the jeans well what I ended up doing was making coasters out of the jean pockets so I just cut out the pockets off the jeans, made a coaster there, and set our teacups uh, on top of uh, the coaster. And inside of the teacup is, you know, a, um, a teaspoon to stir your coffee or your tea. And I just put it in here. You can either put it in there, put it sideways, or you can even just stick it in the pocket you know for your guests so it can go you know a couple of different ways another thing I did with the jeans was also make a napkin ring so I just cut off the front pockets I mean the front you know part uh, where you button the jean and place that around a napkin and put that there and here's a tip when you're setting your tables you just don't want everything to be matchy matchy you kind of want to blend things in and just kind of make you know make it make it up as you go along for example they did have an entire set of these uh, rooster dishes they had the large dinner plate the salad plate the mug the cup but if I would have purchased all of that it would have just been too matchy matchy so I tried to just build you know uh, different elements into my tablescape so with the jean material the um, the you know maroon materials and just a hint of the rooster is great and then I decided not to purchase the rooster uh, mugs because then it would just be uh, you know specific to that one table type but I ended up um, uh, having these 
mugs here that had the stripe on them and these can go with many many different types of tabletops you can do a nautical feel you can do this you know it blends in well with this country feel and you're not just limited to you know one type and then in this one we just kept the rooster in the pocket the um, spoon to stir your um, coffee or your tea and I think you know that's something you could take away don't match everything up just kind of you know buy a couple of pieces and then just mix and match and then in the back there's my buffet I think in the um, spring challenge I showed uh, a temporary buffet I really like that buffet so much that I decided to keep it there and I just switched it up uh, for fall we are going to be having some overnight guests um, I think you know two times uh, during the fall season we're gonna have some people over for Thanksgiving and then we're going to be having um, some guests over for uh, in October some overnight guests so this would be great to kind of set this up for them and these right here um, are really cool they're they're trivets they're made for teapots to keep your tea uh, warm but I'm actually gonna just put my soup terrines on top and then you just light them with tea light candles to keep your food warm it's made out of cast iron and it looks kind of country to me so I thought they would fit right in and Here's the basket. We're going to have our biscuits in there and no country breakfast or country dinner or country thing. Anything is not complete without chicken wire. So we absolutely have to have some chicken wire. And then here is our rooster soup terrine. So we're going to put our shrimp and grits in there. And I had another one of these um, trivets. And then I just ripped a piece of burlap off and stuck one of the, you know, jean pockets on here I'm actually gonna put some sunflowers you know inside I gotta glue that down a little bit more put some sunflowers inside there and you know give some natural uh, elements and some flowers um, to give this some oomph to give the you know tables some oomph and then here it says Bon Appetit the old farm kitchen and that kind of matches the French uh, terms that are on the uh, you know the plates the plates say bonjour and then our little um, bon appetit sign with the clock I just think that looks really really good together Okay, my last item is this uh, football dish and this um, weekend my husband and I are having date night and for the past 18 years every single year he says Carrie my fantasy is for you to watch a football game with me and act like you like it I absolutely hate football and I just can never get through a whole game so this year I decided to go ahead and try to spice it up a bit and um, make it a little bit fun and grown and sexy so we're gonna have a uh, uh, fantasy football date night. 